Hey guys, Justin here with the Caddis Fly Shop. Today I'm going to be tying up a uh, little funky looking cart fly thing for us here. Um, using some new products. Um, so let's get going. All right, so here I have a size 6 TMCO 2457. Um, and that's just like a curve shank, down eye, caddis, nymph, kind of general nymph hook. Um, has, so this thing has a pretty sizable, uh, this hook has a pretty sizable barb on there and I can't slide this bead over without crimping the barb. So that's what I did to get this bead on there. So if you're having trouble with that, um, if you go to tie these things and um, just crimp your barb down and you can get this insta jig bead over. Um, so there's that. I just have a little bit of a thread dam just to hold this bead in place because it's kind of, if it's not on a jig hook with the, um, you know, that 60 degree slant to it, it's pretty hard to, uh, you know, this thing will want to just move around on you. So just building up a little bit of a thread dam there. Now I'm going to take some bead chain, lock that in, um, just give it four on one side, four on one side, three, three, two, two, one, one. And I just go around the base of them a little bit. Really lock them in there. So those are secured. Um, I will place just a little drop of super glue right on top of that bead chain. That'll kind of soak all in. Lock the bead and the eyes in there. That was a lot. But if you do that, you get a lot of super glue in there. I just take my thumb and just kind of get the eye of the hook and just kind of set that glue in there a little bit better. Um, okay, so now we're going to start here. So we've got our eyes and bead locked in. I'm just going to lay down <coughs> a little thread base here. And this is just so my little worm tail won't go sliding around the shank of the hook. Just going to go there. To about the barb. Just gonna go back up here with open turns. <clears throat> so now for our tail, I'm using just uh, casters, squirmito, you know, rubber uh, squirmy worm material. Um, but first, I'm gonna apply just a really thin layer of dubbing on my thread. And this is just ice dub and shrimp pink. You can use whatever color you want, it doesn't really matter. It's not gonna show up much underneath the fly, um, really, if at all. So I'm gonna get thin layer dubbing dubbed on the thread here. Get that set. I'm leaving this a little bit long because I'm gonna trim it. But um, And this is just for a little bit of a uh, little bit of adhesion. So I'm going to just tie this in, pulling that worm material back just to stretch it out a little bit. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so you can see it'll kind of spin around the hook a little bit. So going back up, I give it some, you know, some nice tight, some nice tight wraps. Just get that redubbed back on there to lock that material in there because this stuff can be pretty finicky and as you can see I don't know if you can really see that but it'll spin around the hook and we'll kind of <laughs> fix that a little bit here so um, for the body I am just using pearl core braid and tan you can use micro if uh, you want a little bit thinner body but I'm just going to tie this stuff in here um, right about there Tie this back. This stuff can be kind of tricky to tie in just because of all the braid stuff on it. So we're just going to tie that in. <clears throat> and you can lay down a, a little layer of super glue, but I found that it works a little bit better do this next trick here. So I'm just wrapping this back up with pretty loose turns. I don't want to pull too tight on this because you'll see, look, it'll do this. 
it'll start to spin around the shank of the hook. So, and that's just because this warm material is kind of funky. So I just, I'm going right back up, I'm gonna tie this off. Okay. Tying that off, I'm going to trim it it's underneath the eyes here. Trim. Finish up those. And clean up those butts there a little bit. And this is all going to get covered up, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so now this is just some brush on super glue. I'm just going to take this stuff and just go right over the top of it. It's, uh, this obviously is adding durability, but it's just going to make it so this stuff doesn't spin around the shank of the, uh, around that hook shank. So really get that locked in there. <clears throat> Trim this tail while I'm back here, you know, an inch or so long. That's good. <laughs> Gonna let that dry just a, just a touch. Okay, and then now I'm just using a lively leg brush. This is in the um, mullet brown and brown coloration in the half inch. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this fiber and leg material off of here, tie it in by the wire, and just start wrapping this forward here. <clears throat> and I don't really palmer it, I kind of like it to be wily and crazy. Okay, so we'll give that two turns and you can see it'll start to kind of get a little gnarly here. I'm just going to lock this off. Give it, and this is really thin wire on this brush, so you can kind of, you don't have to reef down on it as tough as you would another, some other kind of brush. So I'm just going to trim this excess out here. It'll probably free up a couple of legs. Yeah, as you can see, there's some trapped material in there. I don't know if you can see that, but that little leg there, oh, we'll just break it, I guess. I guess. Okay. So now I'm just going to pull all this stuff back here, clean it up a little bit. Okay. Give this a quick little two, three, four, five turn whip finish. I'm gonna give it another one just for a little bit more durability. Okay, I'll just pop right off. I don't think that really stuck, but you know, I had to do a whip finish. Okay, I'm just going to pull these legs forward, get them all evened up here, so I just pinch them there, and then trim them all about the same length, doesn't really matter, but <clears throat> there she is, ready to go, you know, eh, it's a little messy, but whatever, um, yeah, give this thing a try, I'm willing to bet it'll catch something, so... Give it, give it a whirl and let us know how you do. Thanks.